hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i will be doing a diy so um i bought this diy explosion box from amazon and i will put the link in the description box below and it comes with a lot of stickers if you want to use them but i chose not to um here's the box i chose blue they have three colors blue black and a deep red color if you want to do it for like valentine's or mother's day or any other holiday but I'm doing this for my husband for his birthday. And they have a lot of like um, different things that you can use for the box to make it nice and decorative. So I'm going to show you guys. But um, here are some of the products that I bought myself from Walmart um, that I'm going to use in my box. Some letters, some stickers, you know, just to make it look nice. So I ended up buying some stickers, some letters, some glitter paper, some holographic um, cardstock paper, some stick-on diamonds, and this is some uh, sticky roll tape so I wouldn't have to use glue. I bought some decorative scissors, and I also bought um, some butterflies, and I bought these from off of Amazon. I will put that link in the description box as well these butterflies you can stick in the box and then when the person opens it it'll fly out so i thought these were cool addition to the box so i also went to cvs and printed out some mini prints and um even though i printed out all these pictures it only cost me like seven to ten dollars and um i actually used a lot of pictures in this box so when i was reading the reviews on the box some people only said they used like 20 pictures but i will show you guys how i made my pictures go a very long way and see i'm just showing you all of the stuff that came in the box i did not use all of the little gadgets and gadgets i used some of them and i will show you guys what i ended up using at the end of the video So here I'm just sorting through my pictures, trying to see um, what I want to pair with what, um, how I'm going to do it, and how I'm going to place them in the box. So um, you can decide, of course, how you would like to do that. So when doing my box, we're going to start decorating. I chose to make a um, kind of a outline of the sticker of the heart because I did not want to use this uh, sticker in particular. So I used it to... Um, as a guide to trace on the color paper that I wanted so I'm using the holographic paper first and I just traced the um, outline and I'm going to cut it and so I'm going to use the holographic silver and the blue in the on the heart inside of the box Now there are definitely other ways to do a DIY explosion box. I just chose this route because it had a lot of, you know, stuff that came with it to make it look cool or whatever. But I've seen the DIY box in um, Michaels for $5 and it was pretty small and it was just uh, white. It was no color to it and I'm pretty sure it didn't have any hearts in it or anything. And I'm, I don't think it came with all the other stuff that I showed you came, comes with this box. And I've also seen people who've done a DIY box um, with things from Dollar Tree. And I may try to do one of those um, and post it as a video. But um, the, I figured that would take a lot longer than this one because this box is already kind of prepared. You just got to decorate it yourself. So after I have all of my hearts cut out, I'm just going through with the tape and sticking them on the box. Okay, so now I'm going to start um, putting the diamonds on the hearts. I just wanted to add a little, you know, fancy look to it, I guess. And I think that these um, made it look really nice. I did not have to add any extra glue or anything on it. The sticky back that is on the diamonds already was fine for this project.
Okay, so now I am adding words to my um, my box. And of course, I said this is for my husband's birthday. So I'm just writing happy birthday, Kevin, and his birthday on it. Um, if it's not for a birthday, you can put whatever you want. This is all up to you how you want to decorate it. But I'm just showing you guys what I did for my box. Um, just a quick tip when putting your letters and your diamonds and sticky stuff on um, it was so much easier for me, me to use some tweezers or something especially since I have nails on but it made it so much faster so that's just a little tip to give you if you're putting on letters or diamonds. Okay, so now I'm just starting to add in my glitter paper and I did the same thing that I did with the heart. I used the sticker that came with the set and um, just used it to trace so that I could have the right size um, square to put into the box. I used my little decorative scissors that I purchased from um, Walmart just to make it look a little better, you know, not just only squares. And I'm just going to let you guys watch. Oh, I forgot that I um, added some ribbon on. Just like I said, I'm just adding and doing whatever comes to my mind just to see how it works out. And I thought this was a cute idea. So I just added a little ribbon around the paper and then I taped it onto the box. So just to save time, I did not show everything that I did, but like I said, the decoration is all up to you. And I did end up decorating the outside of the box. And here is the inside. So I have some little kisses in there and I also have his gift in there. And I'm just showing you guys how I decorated the inside. And um, here is a picture of him. These are the little things that came with the box and this is how I decided to use them. I wrote a little poem on this one. Roses are red, violets are blue. How did I get so lucky with you? And just put a picture on the inside. So it's all up to your decorative, um, you know, skill, your creativity, however you want to do it. I put two pictures on the back of each one of these. And each side has three pockets on it. So that's three slots on each side. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. So, you know, do the math. How many pictures I used in there. Um... And I also hear the butterflies and I'm going to show you how I put them in the box to make them stay so they could fly out once he opened them. These butterflies are pretty big. They're almost the size of my hand and the directions just say to twist them around about 20 to 40 times. So that's what I did. And to hold it closed, you have to make sure that it doesn't um, fly off while you're doing the next butterfly. So I just put the cap back on it and did just repeat the same pro process, sticking each butterfly in and closing the box each time. And I think I had like four butterflies in on each, you know, one on each side. So you have to pay attention to some of these butterflies because some of the rubber bands did come popped. So um, I'm glad that I had bought this pack because it came with like 12 butterflies. So I just went in and got another one that wasn't popped. But I will be leaving a review on these butterflies. Although they were pretty good, some of them did have popped rubber bands. 
Okay, I'm just placing in my last butterfly and I'm going to close the box. Here we go. I'm showing you how it looks when they open. And I think it's so cool and, you know, some people jump from them. But here's his reaction when he opened his box on his birthday. So as you can see, the box didn't open all the way, but it's cool. It still was pretty and he liked it. So I'm glad he had fun on his birthday. So guys, I just want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.